It's Taiwan's heaviest industrial center and a city that has more recently undergone a vibrant cultural renaissance, home to some of the island's most superb architecture, museums, art venues, and temples. This is Kaohsiung. Hi, I'm Noah, and I make videos exploring Asia. And today, we're in Taiwan's largest port city, Kaohsiung. It's a city with many faces. On one hand, Kaohsiung is and has been one of Taiwan's heaviest zones of industrialization, in particular when it comes to metal. This city is responsible for more than 80% of Taiwan's output of metal. But in its more recent history, Kaohsiung has seen the emergence of a thriving arts culture. And when I say art, I don't mean Michelangelo painting on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel kind of art. I mean the kind of art that feels like your kids took a bunch of crayons and drew on the buildings when no one was looking. And hey, this kind of art is definitely down my alley. However, any art capital of the world must claim a crown jewel. Kaohsiung's got a few of them, one being the Dome of Light. Located inside Formosa Boulevard Station, one of Kaohsiung's main transportation hubs, this is one of the world's largest public artworks composed of individual pieces of colored glass and one of the first masterpieces that helped reshape this city from an industrial wasteland into a hub of imagination and creativity. Besides that, you've got the Dragon and Tiger Pagodas, located in the serene Lotus Pond area of the city. And here, it's all about the yin-yang vibes, the cycle of death and rebirth. They say that you're supposed to walk in through the dragon's throat and exit through the mouth of the tiger as a representation of transforming bad luck into good fortune. Speaking of turning the bad into good, we are now headed over to Pier 2 Art Center. In 1973, a series of warehouses were built along Kaohsiung's port, and near the turn of the century, they were emptied and left for the brick and concrete to rot in the eternal Kaohsiung heat. In 2006, the city made the decision to transform these ghostly warehouses into an arts district, and since then, has never looked back. Today, Pier 2 isn't only home to Kaohsiung's best quality street art, but maybe the highest quality street art in all of Taiwan. Yet another art center in Kaohsiung, not to mention arguably the most important religious site in all of Taiwan, is Fo Guan Shan Monastery. It originally grew famous in part because it holds one of the Buddha's actual last remaining teeth. This is another spiritual home for me. The longer I linger here, the more I feel a surge of energy crescend over me, a wave that clears my spirit. At first, I couldn't put my finger on what exactly it is. Maybe it's the vast, empty spaciousness of the walkways and halls, the pristine condition of the magnificent Buddha statues. But in the end, I realized it's the people that make the energy of a place. And here in Fo Guangchang, everyone I've met, from the volunteers to the monks, have been incredibly heartwarming, with a desire to educate about Buddhism, not to convert, but simply from the kindness of their hearts. That's something we need more of these days, and I feel it here in Fo Guangchang. Taiwan is and has been an island of constant duality. On one hand, traveling around you'll find towns and villages that haven't changed a brick in a hundred years. On the other, you come to a city like Kaohsiung, which is consistently leading the way in transformation and taking something on the surface dull, meaningless, into creative expression at its finest. I'd bet a buck or two that this city continues to master the art of metamorphosis in newer, bolder, and more inventive ways. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, and I'll see y'all for the next episode.